Hello, and welcome to Sporty's Pilot Shop for a product pie rep. Today, we're gonna to focus on the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Now, if you've ever flown with the Honeycomb Alpha, which has been out for a little over a year now, you can notice the quality and kind of the design that went into this piece. It's one of the few yokes that has a full 90 degree travel. You notice the smooth transition of the yoke in and aft. And uh, with the button configuration on top, you can tell they really put a lot of thought and design into this piece. Well, they took that same idea and transitioned it into a throttle. Uh, the Honeycomb Alpha Bravo, the first thing I noticed was taking it out of the box, the durability, and just so many options in a small amount of space. Uh, as you can see, the main portions here are the throttle options. Now, I currently have it configured for a general aviation multi-engine aircraft, which as you take this piece out and plug it into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, that is the default setting. So we have two throttle levers with a smooth travel. We also have our prop pitch and then also our mixture levers. Uh, again, the travel is completely smooth unlike some other flight sim pieces out there. And if it's a little too light for your liking, there is a control knob over here on the far right and you'd be able to get your levers more towards what you experience in your airplane or what you come to expect. A great thing about these levers are each of the six areas have a detente. So if you're flying an aircraft that has thrust reversers or anything of that sort, uh, you are able to configure it for that style. Next, and, and another piece that uh, Honeycomb really thought outside the box with is the trim wheel. Uh, this is not something you realize you need until you fly without it and it really helps us to keep the airplane in a clean profile while flying around and get one more step towards the real thing. We also have the gear uh, position lever over here, uh, currently in the down position with three green lights. And if we move it to the up and we were airborne, you would notice these lights transition to red, as in gear is in motion and then go blank once gear is retracted. Just like in a real airplane, there are a couple uh, built-in procedures to make sure we can't retract gear on the ground so it stays down and we'll leave that in the down position. Moving on, we have uh, seven configurable switches right here. Out of the box, the front five are your exterior lights, number six is your pitot heat, and then number seven is your avionics master switch. Now, I rarely turn off the avionics master wall flight simming, but a piece that I use a lot is toggling the parking brake. So I've gone ahead and configured that to the parking brake, uh, but you can make these whatever your heart desires, whatever makes this a more realistic flight sim for you. Moving on, we also have our flap handle here. You can notice we're changing our flaps incrementally with just the touch of the flap handle. And again, it is a smooth transition. And then lastly, uh, something that I really appreciate is the autopilot settings on the top of the throttle quadrant. To have the ability without jumping into the airplane and trying to find buttons on your avionics panel, to just be able to turn a knob and change your vertical speed or heading or your altitude. And then we have a decrease or increase knob to the right. And lastly, activating of said autopilot uh, switches. And you'll notice these are also backlit. Uh, rounding it out, we have our enunciator panel right here with backlit indicators also. And with the three backlit uh, areas, the gear, the autopilot buttons, and then our enunciator panel, there will be a uh, small driver you'll have to download from Honeycomb. It is outlined in the startup guide and you are able to find it easily on their website. So we've covered all the pieces uh, initially that come. A couple quick things I'd like to dive in to is if the levers just spoke to the machine or relayed information, it'd be a great product. Something they did above and beyond is you can see there are little metal connectors here. And by doing that, we're now able to send information from the levers into the system. Think of a uh, takeoff go around switch. Or uh, as you get into the commercial levers, we have thrust reversers. And that brings me into another thing. Uh, we're currently set up for, again, the general aviation multi-engine. You can also do general aviation complex, 
general aviation, uh, just prop and mixture. And then when you want to upgrade, the included pieces allow us to get into commercial airliners. We have four different fr throttle uh, abilities for a two engine or four engine. And on each throttle lever, we also have our thrust reversers, which take advantage of that internal metal and sends information to the system, therefore making your simulated airplane use your thrust reversers. This also comes with a speed brake and then also a new flaps indicator for our throttle. All these pieces are included and with a little bit of software configuration you can uh, make this throttle operate whatever airplane you're in, whether it's a Cessna 152 or the Airbus 320 Neo. This throttle is going to make sure um, you're flying the way you would like to. For additional flight simulator products, please visit sporties.com flightsim. We'll continue to add articles and new products. Thank you for your time.